Right, so <clears throat> now I haven't completely finished this, but I've finished it enough. I'm going to get rid of this that I do have um, what I need to show this next step. Um, so right now I have all my shapes. Some of these are closed, of course. Um, but in order to really make this more of a full composition, I want to give like some place for these things to be sitting. So this is a super easy, um, see, this will only take a second, but I want to put a table. Um, so, you know, if I wanted to get crazy, I could put this, this uh, window in there. But just for the sake of speed and show you how you can do this easily, I'm just going to pull a table across here. And then I want to be able to have a background too. So I'm also going to do, 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 pull this over the whole composition. So that's going to, when I put make this into full, um, when I make this into a, a live paint bucket group, I'll have like, um, everything will be enclosed. So let's see, let's just make sure I still have that. It looks good. And I know I have that line running across here, but I'm going to be able to get rid of that. Um, if you're feeling particular and you really want to like have only, um, you want to have only, you don't want to have this like overlapping part, I can quickly show you the, if I do this and I take the eraser tool. The cool thing about the eraser tool is it only actually works um, on things that are selected. Ooh. So, hmm, maybe I don't want to do that. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> look at me just using my, so I can just use my knife here. Boop, cut there, and cut here. Now I should be able to select just that little part. Oh, never mind, this is a lame, it's a lame part of the video. I, sometimes I get confused about the differences between these tools. Okay, I'm gonna cut that there and right here. Okay, and now I should be able to select just that part, I believe it, there we go. Cool, oh, that looks good. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna very quickly find out if there are any areas that aren't closed, but I can tell already right here, for example, it's not closed. So I'm going to zoom in there and using my pen tool, I'm going to hold command and just stretch that anchor point over here so that it connects. And I don't see anything off the top of my head right now, but if we run into something, we can always go back to that. Uh, so now I'm going to select everything. So I'll click and drag over it all. And I want to make this a live paint group. So to do that, I'm going to click on right here, this shape builder and change to live paint group. Click anywhere to make a live paint. And then you'll see all these different areas that I can fill in are going to be red. And so I'm gonna be able to choose whatever uh, value or paint I wanna put in there. And so this is how we make live paint group. In the next, um, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to make a value uh, a, a set of value swatches, which we're going to use just grayscale um, for this assignment, but for your for your summative, you're going to choose a monochromatic. You could still use grayscale if you want, but you're going to use a, uh, you could also do a color, a hue. Um, so I'll do that in the next video.